I'm going to get five columns back on my report. Product ID, sale date, daily sales. I'm going to get the CSUM and I'm going to get a sequential number. Both techniques for my order analytics are going to use the CSUM, but I want you to notice one thing that those two ordered analytics have in common. The same sort key. Now, in our first ordered analytic, we're going to do a CSUM on daily sales. In the second ordered analytic, we're going to do a CSUM on the number one. And you can see we've got our cumulative sum on daily sales and a sequential number one, two, three, four, five, and that's the way it works. Anytime I have multiple ordered analytics in a query, I make sure they have the same sort key and the report looks perfect every time. This is your next opportunity to really understand the group by statement, why it's good, and then why it's not so good. As you can see here, we've got our two ordered analytics on our CSUM and our sequential number. And then at the end, we say group by product ID. Notice that both ordered analytics reset when the product ID changed from 1,000 to 2,000. Congratulations, but let's do better in the future. I want you to mark this down in your mind that this is great that I can have resetting, but with ANSI, I'm going to do something even more amazing. And that's why I want you using the ANSI version of this. We'll see that here in just a few seconds. Don't be scared, friends. I got you back. This lesson is brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Begin your Teradata journey the right way with our Teradata Basics book. Visit CoughingDW.com for more information. Hi, this is Tom Coughing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.